as graceful through the southern ocean as they are cute on land. They've evolved to weather temperatures down to minus 60, shielding chicks from Antarctic blizzards. What they can't cope with or control is the warming ocean. These emperors are the largest type of penguin. They can weigh up to 45 kilograms, but there's a problem. They can't breed on the land. They need sea ice, and that is shrinking fast. It needs to stay frozen and stable for at least eight months. If the ice starts to break up before the chicks are strong enough to swim, they'll drown. How sad would it be if we lost these guys? I think it'd be catastrophic. That's just so charismatic, you know, and the emperor being an iconic species. This penguin has become separated from his colony. Most live so remotely, the only way to monitor them is from space. By studying the telltale staining on the ice from penguin poo, and this is a particularly large decrease. Peter Fretwell has been keeping an eye on numbers, and news is even worse than feared. The populations have decreased by around 22% over a sector of Antarctica which contains about a third of all the emperor penguins. That's more than twice as fast as modelling done across the whole continent just seven years ago. This is very worrying because our predictions of their future are, are quite dire anyway. We're predicting that there'll be very, very few left by the end of the century. So to see that they're doing even worse than that is quite an eye-opener. Really. Even in areas where sea ice has held firm, it appears storms, rainfall and greater exposure to predators like orca has hit colonies too. And they're not the only threats. These are Gentoo penguins. Unlike emperors, they don't need sea ice to breed, but they do have a challenge they're facing. Bird flu. It's come to Antarctica. At the moment, fortunately, Mortality rates in birds are low, but Chilean scientists are watching the population closely. If you are infected with the avian flu, it produces the mortality in human, high mortality. And for this, we, we need to, to have a good biosecurity protocols for, for, for feral activities in, in, in Antarctica. You don't need to look far to see species succeeding when allowed. Having been hunted to near extinction for their pelts, furry seals are roaring back. Proof nature finds a way even in this brutal environment if we give it a chance. Martin Stew, ITV News, Antarctica.